All right, boom. So we finished putting the slats on the wall. All right, babe, come on. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Move all of this stuff. You look good, I look good. You look good, I look good. Sherwin Williams. But this is the moment of truth. <laughs> About to pull an all-nighter. No. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Boydom's Insight. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and turn that post notification on. And if you're not, welcome back. It's crazy. Zayna's creative juices are flowing. We got another DIY project, as you can see. I'm we're, so excited about this one. Yeah, we're I'm excited about all of them always. Oh but yeah, I'm oh really yeah. Excited. We got many, many, many more projects. We've been doing some crazy planning about all the things we want to do in this house. So. It's time to get back to work because we took some time off, you know, by worrying about the house. But now it's go time. So you guys have not seen our master bedroom. Well, here's your update. <laughs> so this is our master bedroom right now. This is what we have going on. You can see our bed, you see our mirrors. Things are going to change. Obviously, we're going to be working on this back area right here. It's gonna be crazy, so. a little bit of flair. Yeah. When we put all of this together, we were so in love with it and thought that it was just this grand old room and we painted it and thought that was it. But now it's kinda boring. So, it's time to spice it up. Yep, it's time to get to work, so. And this is, you know, one of many projects we, we have going on. We start episodes for this, like episode yeah. We got so many DIYs, it's literally going to be like episode, episode 78. 1000, like it's going to be crazy. But stay tuned with us because you know we got that heat. So we are going to be trying to do a DIY slat wall. We've been trying to figure out where we should do a slat wall in our house because we have so many plans. But what better place than our bedroom? Uh, we've never done one before, so it is going to be a task, but, you know, trial and error. We always make the magic happen, you know what I'm saying, so. First, we need to do some measurements to make sure we, and y'all, just a disclaimer, we are going to be completely winging it, as we do with all of our DIYs. Like, we go in, no research, we just go in off of an inspo pick, and find out you know google and youtube is our best friend <laughs> so that's so, how we figure out our information and we'll make it happen you know what i'm saying there's no better way to do it other than to just to do it baby yeah good. Okay. not how to read a measuring tape <laughs> <laughs> We have our measurements, our handy dandy measuring tape, and good old Google. So with all of these resources, we are gonna head to Home Depot. Let's get focused. We went to Home Depot to try to figure out a couple things about the slats that we wanted. When we got there, we saw that Home Depot doesn't allow you to make cuts less than like a foot or, mm -hmm. or something like that. That kind of changes how we wanna do things because we don't know how to work power tools. Exactly. At least not yet. We're going to get there, but not yet, okay? So we came up with a new idea, but we wanted to come home first, tape it up to see how it would look, to see how, you know, tall we want the slats, and then go from there. So that's what we're going to do. I look bright. You can see my skin. It looks nice and tight. Okay, anyway. King, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. To make sure it's kind of like a... We're going to take off the base. The lighting has changed a little bit. It's a little too bright. They're probably wondering. Yeah. We're taking out the baseboard because it's going to look a lot cleaner and it'll just be less hassle. So with that being said, I forgot to tell you, we have to now add to our shopping list. We need one of those pliers. Those. Yeah. yeah. I got a lot of work to do. You got a lot of work to do. We're about to pull an all-nighter. No, we're not. We're yes, gonna I'm save get, some of this I'm for getting tomorrow. this done today. You're tripping. No, I'm serious. No, 
We're yeah. not. So now we're gonna go to Lowe's. One, because I feel like customer service is a little bit better. Two, we just wanna make sure we're looking at all of our options. And if they don't have the, the slats, slats. Yeah, slats that we need, then. We'll go back to Home Depot. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Move all of this stuff. Unhook all our pretty little work that we're just gonna destroy and get started on this. So stay tuned. So we are making a bit of progress as you guys see. We removed the baseboard with no issue. So there's a bit of screws and also this hole that our contractor put in the wall when he was trying to add an outlet to my closet. So now we have to figure out how to fill it. But first, while we have what we need here at home we're gonna go through and add caulk to cover all the screws just to make everything kind of smooth hopefully in the meantime figure out how we're gonna fill this hole then we can head to load as you guys can already see taking the corners because we're going to be painting soon so i'm going to go ahead and take the wall so we don't get paint in areas that we're not supposed to get paint at All the prep is being done. Last thing I want to do is go ahead and fill that little hole that's down there that Zayna mentioned. So I'm going to do that real quick and also tape in the plugs. We're going to paint the plugs too. So yeah, almost done. Okay, you guys. So now I'm about to get started with some painting. I'm going to go around and do the edges and... I have placed my plastic drop cloth or whatever down on the floor. So let's just get it going. Sherwin Williams iron ore 7069 will drop a little some somewhere. And if you like it, go pick that Jane up. Let's see. <laughs> guys look just a quick update Zayna is knocked out right now so I went ahead and finished painting decided to paint our accent wall black we're gonna go ahead and let it dry but let me show you guys so you guys can see here we took the baseboard out so we had to paint all the way down to remove the white we also painted our outlet covers and outlet plugs as well yeah things are coming along so tomorrow we'll check to see if it needs another coat of paint if it does we'll go ahead and paint if not we'll get those slats or whatever pieces that we need to make this slat wall happen so hope you guys are enjoying this <laughs> this morning we went to home depot to go get our slats so i'm going to go ahead measure them get it together and we're going to get this thing popping hopefully we can finish it today <laughs> had the wrong well we didn't have the wrong saw the guy at home depot told me that with that saw you just use it for something where you're not really worried about having like a smooth cut we had to go back to home depot to get a new saw so that hopefully we can get these boards slats planks whatever cut in a smooth way we're trying to get ace to sleep so we can get them cut 
get them nailed to the wall and look, take a break or breathe or look, something. We're almost done, so I'm gonna leave y'all with Zayna because I'm gonna put baby boy to sleep, then I'm gonna be back and hopefully we can just knock everything out. As I stated before, power tools really scare me. This is my first time using this kind of saw. Probably not the best idea to do all of them at once. So just to make it a break it, y'all. Oh yeah, so look, you saw Zayna killing it with the tools. Now we got a couple pieces. We didn't cut everything yet. We just wanna go ahead and get started on the slat wall. But uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just take all this prep tape off and then we gonna get it popping. But this is the moment of truth. Oh yeah. When we take this tape off to see. How we did. And I think for our first time doing a big project like this i think we're doing a good job this is how it looks it looks really really good now on to the most important part like this is the most important part we're just gonna pray keep our fingers crossed that it works out <laughs> we have all these different boxes downstairs so we actually cut out one inch so we can be able to measure one inch between our slats so that's our trick this is the brand of adhesive we're using. So we're just gonna apply a strip of adhesive down the back and then we're gonna go back through it with the nail gun. Okay, y'all, we have put up a good amount of slats using only the adhesive. So now I'm gonna go back through and try to use this nail gun, which I've never used before. So we're gonna just wing it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna paint the slats, get everything together, and we will be done. We're getting close. It's pretty late, you guys. It's, I think it's like one o'clock in the morning. We have to work like this because our son is sleeping. So during the day, it's very tough to get work done because he wants our attention. So we try to get it in while we can. And while we can is nighttime and nap time. <laughs> actually finished painting our slat wall. It's looking really good. We're really, really pleased with how it looks. Now, it's time to do some touch-up paint because we did paint this splatter in some of the areas here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of our touch-up paint for, I guess, the regular color of our walls. Knock that out, we're gonna clean up, strip off the tape, start putting our bed back together. Finally. We haven't slept in our bedroom in like three days, so. All right, boom. So we took all the tape off. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean this carpet. We got a couple paint stains in a few places. So we're gonna take care of that. We're getting close and we'll do the touch up paint as well. This stuff right here, Resolve, new carpet stain, whatever. This is the truth. Gets out anything. Anything and everything. 10 out of 10, yep. highly recommend. Oh yeah. All right, so we finished cleaning, we finished the touch up paint, so now it's time to get the room back together. Let's do it.
it is time to get this room together. This is my favorite part. I can put all my stuff back, my comforter, clean all of this stuff. So it's time to work some magic. <laughs> finally finished our slat wall it hey. came out beautiful it was a little bit of a struggle at Not towards the end <laughs> it yeah. wasn't really a struggle it was just confusing yeah yeah it was and plus you know we had to work late at night because of ace you know just to make sure he was fast asleep so we can be able to concentrate but we're finally done and okay. hope you enjoy the reveal so we can get some sleep yes <laughs> about 38 um one by two 10 foot slats mm -hmm. i hope i said that right <laughs> um we also ended up renting a circular saw machine we also rented a nail gun and we used adhesive on the back of each slat and then we went through with the nail gun adding some extra security there because the last thing we want is to be sleeping and it has slats fall. Oh yeah. After all of that we went through and painted on top of all the slats. The most difficult thing I would say was getting our mirrors and our lights leveled or centered in the slats because this is just natural wood so some of them kind of curve a little bit. Right. None of them were evenly straight mm -hmm. even though our mirror was placed center even. It looked a little bit wonky, so that was just something we had to deal with but you would never be able to tell because we just really killed it. And also, I remember telling you guys in the video that we had to put a slat in the middle and cut out by our plug. We decided actually not to do that for a couple reasons. One, it looked good. And then two, our mirror actually, you know, covers covers that space. So like Zayna said, our mirror was a little difficult to... <laughs> to get together. We cut very small pieces so we can be able to put it behind there. You can see in the video, you probably see these little actual wood pieces back there. We had to go ahead and nail it to the wall and do our measurements for the mirror. It sounds real easy, but we struggled a little bit, but you know, we're glad that we got this done because this is just a vibe, man. But this was our first big DIY, DIY project. project. Yep. So I think it turned out great. And with anything, a lot of trial and error. So we know for the next one, yeah. it got really, really frustrating towards the end, but it's given what it's supposed to. I know a lot of people are afraid to do dark walls, especially black, thinking that it may close in your space, but with the black walls, we incorporated the vertical slats, which makes the room extremely tall. Same as why people hang their curtains from the ceiling, just because it makes your room seem taller. It's just an illusion. It's the same room, but this room definitely feels a lot bigger. So if you're tired of just your basic accent wall, you know, just the basic color, or some slats on there any design is fine like we just went with this one because it just matches the feel of our room of our house you can literally just throw slats anywhere and it will come out <laughs> a whole vibe like. yeah and look and if we can do it you can and do no it question. okay no question about it. <laughs> i did trip myself and think that this was about to be like a two-day project max but how long did it take us it took about three days it took about three, three days. days but granted we had to take time take breaks for ace right but overall 10 out of 10 i highly recommend you do your own slat wall don't hire any contractors and spend unnecessary money very easy and it just preps you to do more diy so you can turn your whole house into a vibe like of course and another thing that i thought was pretty cool that we did what well, lee zayna did was we pulled out the baseboards like we told you guys about that 
and it's really dope it's giving us like a nice clean look all the way up and down mm -hmm. if we would have had the baseboard there you would have seen white there i don't think it would have threw it off but it just wouldn't have looked as nice as it looks now so i think that's pretty dope and how much did all this cost our diy slat wall comes to about a grand total of about 300 to 400 dollars about 330. if you have everything planned out it could easily be 250 to 300 but mm -hmm. then we had to <laughs> finagle finesse definitely so we were back and forth to home depot getting little things here and there but i would definitely say you could achieve this with 250 it's about three hundred dollars, and Definitely. it's all dependent on the size of your wall. Right, and on top of it, how many slats you need, right? So, like Zana said, we bought thirty-eight ten-foot slats. I think the total for the thirty-eight was around one twenty. Yeah, yeah, about one twenty. Like I said, if you plan it out and you have like a babysitter or you don't have kids, <laughs> you can literally get it done. Get your uh, saw rental your nail gun rental and have it for your four hours which will be like forty dollars right they do ask for a deposit but you get it all back after you turn them tools back in so yeah this is really a vibe and but those of you guys have been on the channel for a while we've never showed our bedroom so this is what our bedroom looks like now pretty dope you know tell us in the comments how we did with the slat wall how yes. our room looks you know what i'm saying i'm really excited to read y'all comments to let us know yeah it is like what you giving it like a scale of one to ten and we still got a couple other decor things we got going on in here you know we have our we got this fiddle leaf like i'm a plant dad but i don't really be doing too much with the plant kids that's all for the <laughs> that's all for my wife Zayna. yeah she she did with the plants you know what i'm saying and we're gonna have something here we don't know what's gonna be there just yet but i think it's gonna be cool this room is a vibe. I feel like I'm like legit in a five-star hotel. Yeah, I feel like I just want to get in the bed after all the work that we've done. Yes. It's time to time to get fresh cozy. Sheets. Fresh sheets. So we hope you guys enjoyed our DIY slat wall project mm -hmm. and the reveal, a small little reveal of our bedroom. We got so many more projects that we have going like, on. I really wouldn't believe. Yes, so and look, she's the mastermind of all of this. Miss Interior Design, she's killing it. We got so much more stuff. I'm just here following her guidance. No, you the handyman. Yeah, something like that. She the one with the tools, you seen it. She was killing it with the tools. We just balance. <laughs> but like always, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that post notification on. And send this to yo. Mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your grandma, your cousins, and your best friends too. Yeah, and tell them, Boydham's Insight is coming with that heat. And we about to oh, get some rest. Oh, why you didn't say you did? And we you don't say you did no I'm about to. Oh. And we about to get some rest. Oh. You dig? <laughs>